So hi, we have Kim Players and she's here to tell us uh, her amazing story of a husband who reversed his diabetes. Did I get that right? That's correct. Okay, That's so she, correct. she has a good story for us. So listen. Uh, so, so hello everybody. I just want to tell you that everything that, that um, Arnold has taught me, I mean, it just is always in my head. And, um, you know, I'm a professional. I just started a business and I have a dream, right? And my husband, like, he just doesn't take care of himself, and I really got over it. So when COVID hit really bad in the wintertime, uh, my husband ended up getting COVID and went into the hospital for 14, for 12 days, excuse wow. me, in the emergency room on 40 liters of oxygen. And the my doctor God. said he wouldn't make it. And I'm like, well, what would it take if he could make it? Like, don't tell me the bad news. I yeah. can see that. Tell me what he has to do to make it. So anyways, he, the doctor was very, very perplexed because my husband's blood sugars were so high. And he said, I know that the, you know, that the steroids that he's on makes them, elevates them, but we're not, not at 400. And I'm like, well, he was pre-diabetic before he got in and he might've been full blood, full diabetic before he hit the hospital because yeah. he was so stressed. And he didn't know. People, you must manage your stress. Yes. Stress is the manifestation of disease. Definitely. So anyway, he was so stressed out about work. I don't know what he was trying to prove, but he was trying to prove something and it wasn't to me. So anyway, he went to the hospital and came back a shadow of a man, lost 40 pounds, all muscle. You know, wow. he just lost all his muscle. He was just so, he looked like he was 80 years old, losing his no. hair. He had long hair. And I was like, oh my land. So I told him when he got home, listen, there's a new sheriff in town and you're not gonna be taking that. I'm not living with a diabetic. Tell him, mama. I'm not living with a diabetic. I'm healthy, I eat right, and I'm not going to play small in my life so you can be a diabetic. Yeah. You need to get your shit together and you're gonna listen to what I say and you're gonna eat what I say or I'm done. I'm tapping out. Wow. So he, ate what I told him to eat, which was, we did eat meat, but he ate a lot of salad, a lot of vegetables, and a lot of plant-based protein shakes that had really clean ingredients in them. He didn't have taste or smell, so that was one of the things he had going for him. Cause he really, I'm like, why fight it? Because you can't even taste or smell what you think you want anyway. So this is actually a blessing in a disguise, right? And he hates to exercise, and I'm a, uh, I'm, my background is I used to be a personal fitness trainer, so that's, you know, opposites yeah. do attract. But so, um, so I got my massage therapist recommended that he get a vibration plate. We read all the stuff about it, and I'm like, this would be great. So he's like, okay. We get the vibration plate, and he loves it. My, wow. He talks my mom into one, he talks his sister Maybe into I one. one. Yeah, and he's not an exercise <laughs> person whatsoever, he just hates the discipline of it. So anyway, he started doing that vibration plate every day and eating the way that I say. And he literally, like that was four months ago, he literally is down to the lowest dose of diabetic medication can be on. When we went to the doctor, I want to tell you this, when we went to the doctor, they just want to keep the um, endocrinologist, they want to keep on dumping the diabetic medication on him. And literally, it was a negotiation when I was there. I'm like, well, what if we did this? And they're like, well, we want to do this. Well, what if we do this? So we negotiated constantly with the doctors wow. so that um, so that they, you know, we didn't just sit there and do what they say. Anyway, so healthy. He's doing really great. He lost all his hair. That all came back. Wow. He's getting his muscle tone back in his legs. He's starting to get his taste back. It's been four months, and he was wow. on his deathbed. Um, so my point is this, is the stress. Take yeah. care of yourself. I'm 58, uh, my husband's 60. We're wow. young, but we're not young. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, we are over the hill and we really have to be, you really Careful. have to do yeah. it on purpose. Yeah. You have to live. But the biggest thing is you gotta have a dream and you gotta be inspired. You gotta yeah. have a why. And I told my husband, I'm not living with a diabetic, so you need to choose right now what you're gonna do. And his why was me. He didn't want to lose me. Plus, during COVID, we lost my brother-in-law. He died. He was 58, and he had a pre-existing problem. And I said, you got to do it for your nieces mm -hmm. and your nephew, and you got to do it for your mom who's heartbroken. Wow, so you have to do it. For, it's not just about you. It's And when people get sick, they think that it's all about them, and it's not. You're affecting everybody. Everybody has to play small wow. so that you can be a victim of your illness. Stop it. Yeah. Stop that nonsense. Step up, take baby steps, 
it's going to take longer than you thought, but it's better than feeling like shit all the time. That's true. Right? So anyway, I hope this inspires you. Check out those vibration plates. They're really great for people that don't like to to do Six. fitness I'm gonna check out do your research it, you know my husband he was having the one problem was really interesting so he was having problem with um, getting his blood sugar in the morning he'd wake up and it was still like 180 and during the day it'd be like 110 so it was good and he's like I don't know why that's like that so I did some research and that's normal and they said what you need to do is exercise at night and take a shot of apple cider vinegar so he started doing the vibration plate at night and took a shot of uh, apple cider vinegar. The next morning he got up and his blood sugars went from 190 to 130. What? Like just something simple just, like that. Nothing. You never know. Never know. You got, there's natural ways. You just got to be curious. Yes. Be curious. And don't be afraid to try it out. And yeah, and don't be so serious about it. It's not a death. It's mm. not a death sentence. It's what you make it. That's true. It's what you make it. But have a dream and keep on keep oh. on moving keep on moving forward. Um, but I hope this blesses you. God bless you. Amen. Kim players. And I love you, baby. Let's go. Let's be healthy. <laughs> mm. Love it. Bye bye. <laughs>